Hey everybody, I am here with my pages with, that are all dry to do the journaling by fives, the back side. Um, step five, where we do our pen and pencil work, um, our doodling uh, on the front side. I did some work with a Stabilo pencil and some markers, and I did put some watercolor paints on here, which I don't know that I'm going to do this time, but um, we are going to do the doodling. And I've got my Stabilo pencil, I've got my sharpener. I've got my Sharpie gel highlighters, which I'm totally in love with. Um, they're not real expensive and they come in these five colors. Love them. And I've got a white uh, paint pen. So, and I've got my timer. We're set to 15 minutes. So we are going to get started and we will see where we end up. All right, I'll see you at the end.
Okay, everybody, we've gotten all five steps done on our Journaling by Fives, the back side pages, and we are going to let them dry completely. They're mostly dry, but I'm going to let them dry completely, and in the next episode, we will be back, and we're going to work on our covers. I'll show you what I have done. So the only thing I've done to the covers is paint the spine black where it's going to be bound. Uh, these pages and the covers are from a Canson XL mixed media pad that I disassembled to do the original front side of these Journaling by 5 pages. So I thought I would reuse these chipboard covers. One of the things I love about the XL pad is the nice chipboard on the front and back. So I do have a Zutter bind it all. So I am going to use it to rebind these. The great thing is I don't have to bind any holes because it's already got holes in it. And I am going to poke the paint out of that hole. <laughs> you see that I painted the hole, oops. So in the next episode, we will cover the front and back and decorate them and bind our pages together and we'll do a journal flip. And I will see you all later. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Bye.